how to do this. Okay, so it's Budapest day two, and as you can see, like the weather is not very nice today. Yeah, it's a it's little bit rain. raining. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we just got our tickets. Do you wanna show? We yeah. got the ten tickets. We got a pay. it's basically like ten tickets, and it come individual, so both of us can use. Because uh, today we're gonna walk around a little bit, so uh, it's ten tickets. Yeah. How much? It's like ten euros. Ten euros. Yeah. I think it was a little less than ten and euros. And these tickets uh, work for a bus, um, the electric, electric the little the train. train. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so everything. it's nice because you can like just hop on. Today we are visiting the Buda part of the city, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we have a lot of things to do today. Yeah. So. And it's a little lighter than yeah. you want it because we. Yeah, Fall asleep. We woke up later. <laughs> But we can already see where we're going. So, almost there. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just admiring. Doesn't it seem like a Disney castle? Like the beginning when you went, walk to Disney and it's the yeah, castle? It's, it's the yeah. same, basically. But like older. And I think cuter though. This is called the Fisherman Bastion. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and we came here mainly because it's supposed to have one of the best views over Budapest but also like I mean because of the building itself it's amazing so we should tell you that we already spent 15 minutes in photos because I mean who wouldn't yeah. how nice is it so we just went a little steps and look at the view from here yeah in just the beginning just the beginning yeah the view is so nice and we have like this little balcony. So nice. So we just spent last at least 20 minutes just taking photos. <laughs> Honestly, like the view is amazing. And even like the complex the space, itself, yeah. it's so nice. So to come here, you pay zero, which is amazing. You can like walk all over the complex, uh, but if you want to enter like the museum or certain things, you have to pay. And yeah, we just have like the middle square. And just by the part where we have like all the views, is, uh, this is a horse statue of S Stephen I of Hungary, the king. So behind me, we have the St. Matthias Church. And it's a very pretty church from the outside with all the tiles and colors. It was built in the 13th century. It's a neo-gothic style. But I don't think we'll go to enter because it's a little expensive just to see a church. Yeah, it's, like it's six around euros, seven. six, seven euros to enter and to climb the tower is another six or yeah, five you euros. Can also go there. Yeah, but we are just taking pictures and uh, yeah. uh, doing very so cool pretty. shots just to appreciate here yeah. the view. It's so nice. It's like you just enter the Disney castle or something. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very good complex. Come on, let's go. I record because yes. it's taking a photo. Guys, get me in the water. But the Buddha castle seems really like a big, big complex. It's so pretty now, it's all pink. I caught a glimpse of you at all. Okay, so we just arrived. And this is the gardens of the Buddha castle, I think. So I think it's free. They say it's open until midnight. So let's go enter here. Oh, it's a very nice garden. Yeah, and it's small, but it's very nice. I don't think it's small because I'm seeing many plates uh, to go somewhere there oh, and yeah, there. Maybe it goes there. But yeah. you are going to the Buddha castle. That's that way yeah. behind us. You see this? Yep. I think that's it's a staircase. Uh, yeah. And I think you go, uh, and it's the perfect time of the day to take some pictures because the sky is so beautiful. In the garden too, we like. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
such a nice area. It's such Seems a nice at night, yeah. Do you want to play the blame game? We still know all the rules. It's, let me see, it's 5.30. No, it's nine. <laughs> Even though it's like midnight. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna end our uh, day here. Yeah. We're super exhausted of walking. We walk a lot. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I stay for the best. Wait for me. Wait for me. Well, yesterday was supposed to be our last day exploring, and today we're supposed to move to another yeah. city. But yesterday we went to the place we're gonna go today, but it was, it was already closed because they closed early. Don't know why. So today we are finishing the last thing we're gonna see here. But now we're gonna pass into this square, which it's is amazing. amazing. Square, yeah. I don't know why it wasn't in our list. So we came to here. <laughs> and basically, this is a bunker. It's called the Hospital in the Rock. But it's actually Second World War bunker that was also used as a hospital. And we found out, uh, like any of the websites says anything about it, that I searched like things to do in Budapest and like that. But my sister recommended and she said that when she was here with the, uh, my brother-in-law, I overheard someone talking about it. So then they came here and uh, if it was not for them, we totally miss it. Because it's not on anything online that we searched. And like also it seems like from the outside, I've never thought it would be a bunker. It's in a. It's by the Castle Hill, but it's very secluded, and there's not any advertising on the way or something. So that's going to be interesting to explore. We've never been in a bunker. The only bad thing in the bunker is that we can take photos or videos or anything. So I think if you want to come see the inside, you just have to come here. So it gives a few photos of the bunker, and they also have these expositions with like dolls or something to like recreate it. So it's very interesting. So you can buy a lot of um, normal, traditional gift things in the museum. Like this? Like this. The coffee mess? <laughs> so it's an English tour. Here we go. So we, uh, the tour starts with the uh, uh, siege of Budapest and after that the Hungarian Revolution. And it uh, ends with the uh, atomic uh, bo uh, bombs or the prepare for the atomic war. Yeah, you have like a few replicas of uh, uh, objects kids were holding in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. And basically ends with a kind of the awareness for peace and the cost of war. Uh, but it's, I think it's very nice. I think it's uh, worth the price. But it was weird because I thought it would be like deeper. Yeah, yeah, right. Because you don't, I thought you open the door and then you just have like a staircase going like 80 <laughs> meters or something. But, but you, you didn't don't. walk a lot. It's yeah. like slowly going down a few steps, mm -hmm. but you don't notice it. So now we are getting home and we are finishing with this amazing view of Budapest. I feel like we saw the parliament at night yeah, two, three, three two, times two, already, or four, already yeah. which is not hard when it goes <laughs> night by four. True. But we saved a very special thing here in Budapest. True, I think it's the most, I don't know, it's probably one of the most, most visited, visited places things, in yeah. Budapest and the most amazing things you can mm -hmm. do. So if you want to check that, please watch the next video. And, and to do that, subscribe and see you on the next time. video. It's here in Budapest. <laughs> so it's gonna be so nice. nice. <laughs>